This is a video on the regression line. The question states, a biologist is investigating the relationship between the amount of rainfall in inches in the spring and the number of mushrooms growing per acre. The data are shown below. Find the equation of the regression line and interpret the slope and y-intercept if applicable. So here are our data. We have the amount of rain in inches, 1, 3, all the way down to 7, and the number of mushrooms that grew, 14, 29, all the way to 50. And I want to find the equation of the regression line. So let's go to the calculator. So here's the calculator. I need to first put in the data. So I go to STAT, and then Edit for Data. And I'm going to clear out L2, and I'm going to clear out L1. OK, for L1, I'm going to put in the rainfall data, which is 1, enter, 3, enter, etc. And then finally, 6, enter, and 7, enter. For L2, I'm going to put in the number of mushrooms. So I go to L2, and I put in 14, enter, and 29 enter, etc. And then finally I put in 50 and enter. Okay, now that I have my data entered, I need to find the equation of the regression line. So here I go to that again, and the easiest way is to go to calc, and then number four is lin reg ax plus b. And that will give me the equation of the regression line. So I hit enter. And then I need to tell it to put in L1, so second, one, and then comma, L2. And I'd hit enter. OK, so here's the equation of the regression line, y equals ax plus b. We see a is about 5.4, and b is about 9.4. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. OK, here's the PowerPoint. I have y equals 9.4, that was a, plus 5.4x. Now I'm asked to interpret the slope and y-intercept. So let's start with the slope. The slope is a number in front of x, which is 5.4. So to interpret the slope, I say that on average, about 5.4 mushrooms will grow per inch of rain that has fallen. The y-intercept is 9.4. So to interpret the y-intercept, first notice that the y-intercept means x is equal to 0, or the amount of rain rainfall is equal to 0. 0 is not far from where the data lies. We have a value of 1. So it does make some sense to extrapolate to 0. So to interpret the y-intercept, I say it is predicted that if no rain falls in the spring, then there will be about nine mushrooms growing per acre. And I'm done with the problem.